My name is John Zick, and I'm an associate professor of dermatology at the Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. I've been there for 15 years, and I'm also the director of the Vanderbilt University Cutaneous Lymphoma Clinic. The cutaneous T-cell lymphomas are malignancies or cancers of the, of the T-cell lymphocyte where the skin's the primary organ of involvement. One of the big challenges with the cutaneous T-cell lymphomas is the diagnosis and it can take up to six to ten years for these diseases to evolve in the skin before there are enough clues on the skin and under the microscope to diagnose the disease. So I think one bit of advice for dermatologists would be to be patient, um, to keep the diseases, cutaneous T-cell lymphomas, on your radar screen so that you're more likely to diagnose them. There are uh, several newer agents to treat the cutaneous T-cell lymphomas. Um, the newest oral agent is varinostat, also known as Zalinza. And varinostat is a unique chemotherapy drug because it's a histone deacetylase inhibitor. And that's a new class of chemotherapy drugs. And it works by um, changing the DNA uh, structure of the, of the cancer cell so that the cancer cell is less likely to proliferate. It has uh, some unique uh, side effects. Um, it's one of the only drugs in dermatology that I'm aware of that can prolong uh, the QT interval, which is an important interval uh, that we see on uh, electrocardiogram. So uh, an ECG is indicated before we start this drug, and we should probably perform another ECG at various intervals from four to six months of therapy. The only other side effect that I think I should highlight is uh, thrombocytopenia, which is decreased pa platelets. Um, patients can develop uh, decreased platelets uh, within six to eight weeks of starting the drug and therefore that, sh that should be monitored closely also.